Hello and welcome to Isan Flix. Today, I am at the Department of Land Transport Offices Number Two in Uban Ratatani, located on Route Two Three One, the Ring Road around Uban City. If you had watched my previous video, a visit to the Department of Land and Transport Offices in Uban Ratatani. You will already know I am at the offices to ask if I have all the correct documentation to re renew my driving licenses. Well, please sit back, relax, and ride with me while I'll explain what happened. I have to tell you, I was in the offices for just over two hours. Well, I entered the building carrying my plastic wallet containing all the photocopies of the relevant pages of my passport. My passport, of course. I took some passport photographs with me, my residence certificates, and medical certificates. And of course, my driving licenses—one for the car and the other for a motorcycle. I had just got to the top of the stairs as driving licenses are processed on the first floor, as vehicle taxes and registration are processed on the ground floor. And I was looking to see where I had to go. When a nice lady carrying a pile of documents, she obviously worked in the offices, greeted me and asked what I wanted. I told her I was there to renew my licenses, and she pointed out where I had to go. She had indicated I go to the back of the room she pointed to, to where two ladies sat behind a couple of desks, checking what turned out to be application documents. There was a small queue of people in front of the desks, who quickly disappeared with the documentation they were being hand handed by the women behind the desks. One of the ladies behind the desk saw my wallet, pointed at it, and held out a hand and told me to sit down at her desk. She opened the wallet and sorted out the documents into two piles, one for each license, of course, and then attached a license to each pile and handed back all the documents she didn't require. They were only extra photocopies of what she had already taken. But she then went on and checked through my passport to verify the photocopies I had made were correct. I had made. The information page, the entry stamp, the visa stamp, and a copy of the departure card. The lady then asked me for my queue number. I said I didn't have one, so she asked me if I had done the e-learning. I explained I had tried but failed to open the video. She said I could do it now on my phone, but I advised her my phone had no access to the internet. And then both ladies laughed, and one said, "Come with me." I followed her into the room I had attended five years ago to watch the safety presentation and the safety video prior to getting my. Licenses renewed. Then, however, now the room is full of desks, each with a computer, keyboard, and a set of headphones. I believe there were possibly about thirty desks in all. We went to the far end of the room and was told to sit behind. 
the computer she pointed at. And she went on to boot up the computer and logged on to Google and then entered the Land Transport website. The website opened up, entered my name, passport number, but the site failed to load. Well, they tried that a few times, just as it had happened on my home computer. Then a few other ladies gathered around and they tried to get the site to open, but they all failed. I was then told to follow them to the front of the room, to sit behind a computer in front of the desk of the lady who was responsible for the e-learning facilities. The nice lady who had sorted out my documents then helped me log on, but this time not through Google. I had to enter my passport number twice but no name, as the name box was already populated with a temporary name. This site immediately opened up and the video started, and I joked with the lady about giving me the answers, but she laughed and said she didn't know the English answers. The video was just a few seconds over an hour. The first part of the video was in Thai with English subtitles or captions, during which three questions popped up, each with multiple choice answers. I simply entered my answers and the video continued into an English speaking safety video. Nothing I hadn't seen before. However, I had to make myself concentrate as I have not sat behind a computer and watched anything for an hour for many years. Well, I watched the video and the minutes ticked by and as I said, nothing I hadn't seen or heard before. Now the video finished and then a, another question panel popped up. Three questions, the same as I had already answered. I checked the boxes for my answers and then the screen then showed I had successfully renewed my license. Then the lady behind the desk in front of me said I had finished and with that the lady who had sorted out my documentation came back into the room and told me to follow her. We went across the hallway to another room where I was given a colour vision test. I was told to stand behind a line on the floor and looked at the set of traffic lights in front of me and was asked to call out the colour when the lights lit up. They came in random colours of red, yellow and green and in no particular order, completely random. So the colour test took less than a minute. Next I was told to sit on a chair, which she indicated to me, which had an accelerator and brake pedal in front of it. This is for a reaction response test. You have to sit and then press the accelerator, which activates a green light. And when that light turns red, you must hit the brake. And your reaction time is recorded by a set of LED lamps. I did this twice and was told, that's it, you are finished. We left the room to be met by another lady carrying a, a pile of documents, who then took my documents I had just been given back after finishing the e-learning and the um, colour test and reaction test, and she asked for my passport. 
I gave it to her and she said, follow me. We went back towards the stairway and over to the other side of the building where you get your photo taken and the license is processed. I was told to sit and wait until I was called to one of the counters. I waited several minutes until I was called. I was then asked to check the documents presented to me to verify my name was spelt correctly, which it was. I then had to sign the documents and pay for the licenses. The total for both came to 760 baht. That is 555 baht for the motor car license and 205 baht for the motorcycle license. After paying the money, I was told to head behind the counters to one of the booths to have my photographs taken and the licenses processed. That took a matter of a couple of minutes and then was told to go and sit back outside and wait for the licenses to be made. I believe I waited again for only a few minutes until my name was called and I collected my new licenses. So, that's it. Done. And good to go for another five years. Whereas it may seem a simple process, this was all made very easy by the ladies who worked at the offices. In fact, it was a very nice experience. No hassle or any problems. And it all took, as I said at the beginning of the video, just about two hours and a few minutes. This all meant I didn't have to come back again in the morning, as I had originally planned. Just wonderful. Now, I do have to say, this was just my very own personal experience and I cannot confirm if this process would happen for everyone. As you are aware, I went alone, no translator, no use of a Google translator, but most of the conversations I had were in English, very little in Thai. But I do have to say, everyone I met working for the Land Transport Office were found to be very friendly, helpful and professional. As I was leaving after receiving my licenses and heading towards the stairs, a couple of the ladies who had helped me processing my documents were passing through carrying even more documents. However, they waved and called out goodbye to me. So, now we are on my way home after a very pleasant afternoon. A successful afternoon. The process and procedures for renewing Thai driving licenses are not complicated. There are numerous websites and YouTube videos explaining the process, so look them up if you have any questions. The land transport site or similar sites list the documentation requirements. And getting a medic medical certificate is very easy. Simply visit any clinic. 
and to get a residence certificate, go to the tourist police office. I'm not sure if you still can show and make a copy of your yellow house book for the uh, license renewal, but I do know the tourist police will issue a residence certificate based on your yellow book. However, as I said in my previous video, I had to visit the tourist police with my wife, her ID and our blue book. And that got me the residence certificate. I do not have a yellow house book as I have not really had the need to get one. Nor do I have one of those pink Thai ID cards. However, maybe one day I may get round to getting them, as I am told the ID card is handy to have, as they can be used to avoid the extra charges getting into government national parks or some other facilities where foreigners are charged more than ties. But uh, as I said, I have had no need for them up to now. Furthermore, I have used my Thai licenses to do that in the past. Sometimes that works, but uh, it really depends upon the person at the kiosk. I also have to say, I have read and heard many stories about how difficult it is dealing with the Thai immigration for renewing or extending visas and um, getting a driving license. But all I can say, in the beginning it was a frustrating experience as I didn't fully understand all the documents that were required as there was no internet websites back then when I first started doing all this. It was more like a trial and error process. I went to the immigration offices for visa extensions way back, but then I was living in Pattaya and the immigration offices were in Soy 8, just around the corner from the police station. However, back then it was easy, as there was a hut outside the immigration offices which had a photocopier and you were able to get your passport photographs done immediately with one of those instant Polaroid cameras. So getting what was required was very easy. But I do have to say they were very different times and perhaps in many ways better. But things never stay the same and today with the use of computers Many of the old processes require so much more information. More little boxes to be filled out or ticks, I suppose. So, it is what it is in Thailand and no amount of bitching and moaning is going to change it anytime soon, in my opinion. However, as I mentioned, there is so much information available on the internet nowadays on how to do whatever you want to do. All you have to do is wade through a lot of the misinformation. So I always advise anyone to go straight to the government website pertaining to whatever you want to do. And there you would find out the actual requirements. Nevertheless, once you know what is required, it is a fairly simple process to either extend a visa or make a driver license. Just make sure you have made copies of everything as detailed on the government website. And of course, for a license, you do have to have a medical certificate and a residence certificate. Of course, there are many agencies advertised on the internet who can help you make a a visa or license, but uh, they tend to make the process appear to be more difficult than it is. But at the end of the day, even if you use an agency to renew your extension of stay or get a driving license, you still need to be present. However, the choice is yours. 
I shall make a stop here to take a look at the Moon River and see how it is doing. The levels must be falling as we have not had any rain in this area for a while. However, that does not mean the river is not running high. In fact, I don't see much change. Just about uh, the same as it was a couple of weeks back. But, as always, if you liked this little video of mine, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave me a comment, but better still subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, to ensure you do not miss out on seeing our other videos. That's the Moon River, doing what nature designed it to do. Well, that's about it. So until my next video, it's a very goodbye from me.